Sport replay. The highlight of greyhound racing this week was the Anderson Hosiery Cup National Grand Final at Olympic Park last Monday night. Let's go back to that program now. Take a look at the first leg of the double where the favourite Bonnie Blue from box number one at seven to four. Here's Ron Hawkswell. Racing, Rumpus Papa began smartly out in the centre, quickly racing for the lead with Western Sheen, but Western Sheen leads early. Rumpus Papa second, third is sacred soon, and back to the tail in the first turn is Bonnie Blue. They run down the back and Western Sheen about three, Rumpus Papa, three lengths to rear girl, followed by King Belfast, a good distance away to sacred soon, followed by Fun Sham, well back came Bonnie Blue and Sunstar. Rumpus Papa getting up on the inside of Western Sheen, Rumpus Papa took the lead from Western Sheen, rear girl running on, but Rumpus Papa too good again. Race clear at the finish. Three lengths west and chain. Third is rear girl. But in the Anderson racing. Cup final, and the favourite Suzanne, Suzanne Gwenda, Gwenda from the white. Tonight is up there vying for the lead. Slow to begin was cool in and back of the tower with Carol's book class. And Suzanne Gwenda goes back through the field now to be third last. The leader is Pixieville, raced four lengths in front on the first turn. Tanjoba second, six lengths, Glencoe Missy. They were followed by Patty Star the outside, three or four away. Came Suzanne Gwenda, followed by cool in and going back to the tail, Carol's book class and distanced is River Pearl down the back straight. And the leader was Pixieville about four lengths in front. Tanjoba running second, eight lengths away, Glen Comissi. Suzanne Gwenda going through on the inside, spotting the leaders, a big start though, coming to the turn, a hundred metres to go and Pixieville is clear, two and a half to three lengths out in front of Tanjoba, then Suzanne Gwenda, but South Australia gets the money, Pixieville two and a half lengths, Western Australia second, Tanjoba, Victoria third, with Suzanne Gwenda, they were followed then by Patty Star, further back was... Four and five, the Olympic Park double, 22.45, at Sandown on Thursday in the first leg, Sheila's Rocky, the favourite from the red. Racing, Sheila's Rocky came out fast on the inside away smartly. Was Wanton Chief out in the centre? Wanton Chief has cleared the field from Tasman Rocket on the first turn, followed by Prime World going down the back straight down. Wanton Chief clear. Got out to lead about three lengths now to Prime World second. Two lengths away then came Mystic Champion, followed by Copper Lady. Tasman Rocket then came Super Sure. Sheila's Rocky second last. National Corn at the tail. Wanton Chief a length and a half two in front. Prime World and, and also Mystic Champion were colliding and Wanton Chief shot clear. Wanton Chief, three lengths in the run home. Couple lady late to get second. Third home is Mystic Champion. In the Sandown Sprint title, the favourite Stormglade box one. Again, smartly away quickly to us. Devil May Care. Stormglades back and set a field on the first turn as they run to the back and Winley Raider whipping around the outside. Joins Devil May Care just in behind them. Jocks a flyer. Stormglade the setter. Followed by Memorial Miss. Then came Sealers Cove. Instant recall. National Poppy. Winley Raider burst to the front off the back straight and moved away three or four clear of Devil May Care. Well back as Storm Glade and Sealers Cove, but Winley Raider rice to racing right away. Winley Raider six lengths in the run home. Devil May Care. Third is Storm Glade, followed by the Sandown Double five and seven, eleven dollars thirty at Geelong on Friday in the first leg, the favourite Devil's Kick from Box Eight. Racing this time a little bit slow. Dundalk Grover on the inside. Calathea Edwina Girl began smartly. Dundalk Grover now going through on the inside, followed by Demon Star. They were followed by Cheetah further back as Devil's Kick Trap wide. Well back came Mercury Lad and Prezi Boy. Off the back and Dundalk Grover took the lead a length and a half in front of Calathea, followed by Devil's Kick who's struggling. Into the straight Dundalk Grover the leader. Devil's Kick is getting up on the inside but Dundalk Grover clear and Dundalk Grover went on to win two lengths to Devil's Kick. Close up third is Calathea the outside. The brilliant national star, the favourite, straight to the front in the second leg, but cop the check after the start. After the start with Point Dexter, though, and away smartly, Mollison Lass. Mollison Lass, the leader, national star, driving for the inside, and he got it on the first turn, too. And going to the back, it's national star taking the lead from Lady Chatley. Three lengths away, Linton's ace. Three or four lengths away, then came Mollison Lass, followed by Regent Ladd, who's well out of it with Trevinson, Zachariah, but coming off the back straight, and national star is eight lengths in front of Lady Chatley running second. Trevinson going through on the inside, followed by Linton's ace, and then came Regent Ladd, but National Star, ten lengths in front around the bend from Trevinson, getting to third as Linton's ace, but coming down the straight, it's all National Star, National Star crosses the line, and wins by about four or five lengths, Trevinson second, third placing may have gone to Linton's ace, the outside. The Geelong double combination, one and seven, paid $4.95. Last night at Cranbourne, the first leg went to Gypsy Bride from uh, box seven at six to one. And let's take a look now at the second leg of the double where the favourite Kilmarney lad from box four. They're set for the zone final, the Farrells Cup, and they're racing this time, slow to begin. Was Boss made away quickly, flying fast, out wide, going quickly. So is Calympus, the inside, followed by the Drambuie kid. And Murchis sat on the inside, out of the straight, and flying fast. 
Two in front of Calippus to the outside, followed by Murcher's son. Boss made around the outside from the Drambuie kid, Kilmarney lad. Going through on the inside was checked there, though. Followed well back by Evelyn Post, but Calippus shot away. It's four or five in front around the turn from Boss Mate getting to second. Flying fast, gone, followed by the Drambuie kid. Calippus strolls in, though, wins by six lengths. The Drambuie kid got up to run second, Boss Mate third. Then... Seven and one the double at Cranbourne for twenty three dollars and ninety cents. That was Greyhound Racing back with the harness racing from Mooney Valley in just a moment.